Okay, here we go. First run in Kenya. Here we go. So Tom, I met you in Kenya 2011. First time I saw you was you were running a cross-country race in Iten, the self-proclaimed home of champions in the Rift Valley in Kenya. Uh, you were quite near the back, I have to say. I'm sure you won't mind admitting <laughs> that. And I remember being inspired by that to run a race myself a couple of weeks later, not knowing that you were one of the best runners in Britain at the time. So, uh, you know, I shouldn't have been measuring myself against you. But anyways, you spent six months yes, training, right. training in, living in a training camp. I wanted to give myself a good opportunity to fulfill my potential really as a marathon runner. And, and what better way than immersing yourself with the best marathon runners in the world. Since then, you've been working for the management company Run Fast, looking after Kenyan athletes, sending them to races in Europe, people like Boniface Kongin. I wrote this book about the Kenyans and, and one of the big questions and the question I'm always asked when people ask me about the book is, why are the Kenyans so good? So I, I, you know, I had my ideas, but for someone who's worked and lived with them so closely, what do you think the Kenyan secret is? I think there are many reasons why the Kenyans are so good. Um, the optimism, there's the lifestyle, the altitude that they live at, which is was a great help. Mm. Um, genetically, I think they're, you know, they're built um, to run distance. One of the things the Kenyans often mention as one of their secrets is, is the famous ugali, which they eat every day. Well, ugali is, is maize flour um, poured into boiling water and stirred until it's as thick as can be, until you can stir no more. When my athletes come here, it's one of the most important things they always ask for. So it's a whole stew pot of, of factors. There's it no Because obviously we can't emulate genetics or altitude. What, what can we emulate? An important part of running, especially when you're training very hard, is, is to recover. Recovery is, is training in itself. And you'll find that the, the Kenyans will sleep an awful lot. I think we can all, you know, take more time to recover from right. our training. No, go more to bed early. Go to bed early, you know, don't stay up and watch that extra right. TV program. Right. How has your running changed? Well, I think the main thing that I, I've learned from the Kenyans is probably their mental outlook to running. Um, although they're professional athletes, they still have a very relaxed outlook to it. If they have a bad race, they just forget it. They'll say, I'll win next time, I'll break the world record next time. <laughs> so very confident. It's, it's a brilliant confidence to have. They just have this sort of eternal optimism that, that they'll always succeed. So Kongin, you live and train in the Iten, where I, I spent six months there writing my book and where Tom yeah. trained as well. But you're not from Iten. I'm from was in Gishu County. Okay. Yeah, and near Cap Target. Okay. It's and like 20 kilometers away from it. Yeah, I and can take a, a long run to home. Oh, you can run all the way home? Yeah, <laughs> one hour, 10 minutes. Do you do that sometimes? Yeah. And what do you do Probably. when you're not running? What does the rest of the day involve? Mm, relaxing. <laughs> relaxing? Yeah. That's what Tom, like Tom was saying. Recovering, yeah, okay. like sleeping, yeah. Right. So that's important as well. That's is important, it? yeah. Right. To get your body relaxed, okay. recovered, yeah. Okay. At what point did you decide you wanted to be a runner? Uh, it was like since I was young. Yeah. Since you were young, you always yeah, wanted to be a runner? I was going to school maybe far, six kilometers away. Right. So I was running morning, right. lunchtime going back, and then right. in the evening. So Five or six kilometers? <laughs> yeah. Every day? Every day, right. Monday to Friday. I wanted to ask you about the competition in Kenya. You're one of the ones who've managed to get races abroad, but there's a lot of competition for those places. Yeah, Is you have to be good in you Kenya. Have to be good. My recent races, I did one 10K in Eldred, I was position six. And then another one in Kericho, I was position two. It's hard running in Kenya. <laughs> Everyone is strong. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, there's lots of people to train with, lots of people to inspire you. Yeah. The Kenyans have uh, some pretty impressive statistics. In, in 2011, the top 25 fastest marathon times in the whole world were all run by Kenyans. So that's pretty amazing dominance. So this is a question people are always asking me, but it's, it'd be great to ask a Kenyan runner, why, why are Kenyan runners so good? I can say training, training here is different. It's maybe in Africa and right. Kenya. Weather is good, you can get good roads, not tarmac. So when you say good roads, you mean dirt roads? Yeah, they are better. When you're running tarmac, it gets more injuries. You talked about running to school every day. And yeah. this, is, this is something lots of Kenyan runners I've spoken to have talked yeah. about. And you think that's a, 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 an important part of what makes you a good runner? I think so. That's the maybe like foundation. All the athletes, they are running to school. Right. And why do you then run you to get... school and not walk? Oh, it's far. You'll get, far. Late. You get late. Yeah. When you were running to school, were you running barefoot or did you have shoes? Definitely. Definitely? Yeah. Okay, because you know... There are no shoes. Do you think that helped? With your running? 
I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah, Because you know there's a whole movement now in, in, in the West, in, in Europe and America, where people are trying to run like barefoot. Barefoot? Because they no. think it makes them stronger. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> uh, That's a funny idea for you. Yeah, yeah, it's funny, yeah. And do you think there's any other reasons? Because in other parts of the world, people run to school, but they don't have so many athletes. I think they're passion, like... Passion? Yeah, they have that passion to run. It's good to be an athlete. Everyone looks to the idol. Who was your idol? Tergat. Tergat? Yeah. What is so special about Paul Tergat? It was a discipline when he was young. He was going, I think, 20 kilometers to school. I think that's the, the thing he made him a good athlete. So you felt a connection with him as you were running to school? Yeah, I was you running think? good. You think you need to have the right attitude as well? Yeah, you have to be positive. Right. When you're running like in a race, you hope for the best. Right. To win. Right. And That's all what is in my mind. To okay. win. And when you're getting very tired and your body is telling you to slow down, how do you carry on? Just push it. Push it. Yeah, push it. <laughs> and you always think you can win? Yeah, you have to think like that. Right. To be positive. Yeah. What is your dream one day? My dream. I have to be good. Yeah. To be the best, yeah. Do the best. Uh, Maybe one time I'll be in Kenya team, something like that. Run for my country. You can't start maybe today and then win tomorrow, no. It takes a lot of time, so you have to be positive and patient.